You guys have voted and now I am delivering. This is the brand new Matchbox Globe Travelers six car premium set. We are gonna open it up, take a closer look at each car, and then we're gonna head to the six lane raceway for a big race to find out which one is the fastest. I did a poll on my YouTube channel and 70% of you said you want to see matchbox cars as the other type of cars that I do more reviews on. So I'm starting it off with a bang. This is the brand new Globe Traveler six car premium matchbox set. Let's go ahead and open them up. We will start off with this one right here the brand new Mini Cooper S Cabriolet. Check it out. And these ones are really cool. They've got this blister pack right here, plus they've got the actual cardboard box. So I guess if you wanna keep this and store the car in there, it's kind of a cool collectible idea, but check this one out. Oh, so awesome. And uh, on the back, I'll show you if you care to see. I don't know if it says anything about the actual six car set. Doesn't look like it. Uh, so let's go ahead and open it up. All right guys, and I have never seen one of these premium sets from Matchbox open, so bear with me here. Okay, we got this little protector piece right there, and uh, we'll pull this box out, and there's just the blister pack, we'll throw that aside. This box, we'll open it up, there's nothing inside of the box, it's just for you to store the car inside, but uh, for now, we'll put the box aside and let's look at the actual car itself. So there it is, the Mini Cooper S convertible matchbox car. And check out the detail on the interior, actually quite good detail on there for a little one in 64 scale. And these ones do have the real rider tires on there and some nice premium wheels. Cool tampo on the side of it. Very, very nice, cool looking car. Check it out from the top right there and this side. All right, Mini Cooper S convertible. We'll put that one aside and we'll go on to the top. We'll do the top row first. We'll do the Audi R8. Check it out, Audi R8. Again, premium, nice premium white wheels and tires. Let's go ahead and open this one up. And you know what, I might keep these little boxes that are included in here to maybe store these cars or, or maybe just to rest them on top. I think that would be cool just to display them on top. So we'll keep the little box right there. We'll throw that aside. The packaging we'll throw aside. And there it is, the Audi R8. Check that out. I love these white wheels on there and the nice tampo and writing all that on the side of it. Very, very cool, premium, premium tires, premium matchbox vehicle. This is not your standard. These are equivalent to like a, maybe a super treasure hunt style vehicle or any of the premium sets from Hot Wheels essentially, but uh, great riding. This is kind of like a matte finish to this paint job on here and check out the R8 logo on the top. Great looking, wow. These amaze me. I'm so happy that I actually got these. Thank you guys for voting for matchbox as we got lots more matchbox stuff coming up as well as the regular Hot Wheels and we'll throw some Tamika in there as well. All right, we'll throw the R8 down to the side and we'll grab this one. This one's a really cool one. This is like a Jeep Wrangler. There it is, Jeep Wrangler, but check it out. It's like totally done up for camping. It's kind of your total off-road package on this Wrangler, all done up nicely. All right, let's go ahead and open this one up. And we'll take this little piece out right there. And obviously we'll keep that box aside and we'll throw all that stuff aside and let's check it out. Check out this. And actually, you know what? I'll show you a close up of the box first so you can kind of see what we're working with as far as what they had in mind that the car should look like. Maybe not as much color and stuff on the top. You can see it's just all black on the top whereas this one you've got all the color for it, but that's not too bad. Still a cool looking vehicle. The premium wheels and tires on there. It even has a trailer hitch on there and that's a good, nice touch to it. No detail really on the tire on the back. And on the top, it's fairly basic as far as uh, color goes, but the actual detail from the plastic and stuff is quite nice, quite cool. And uh, check out the tampo on the actual front Jeep and some sort of logo. I'm not even sure what that exact logo means, but there it is, cool looking Jeep. If you're a Jeep fan, this is definitely one you have to check out and grab and collect. All right, we'll put that one down. We'll go to, you know what, we'll go to this one. I'm sure you guys are waiting for the Lamborghini. The Lamborghini Gallardo Police. 
There it is. It's not the Italian Policia. Yeah, this one, I believe it looks like it's got the actual colorway of uh, maybe an UK police car. So any of my viewers from the UK, England, uh, correct me if uh, this is one from you guys or if I'm right or wrong about that, let me know. All right, let's open this one up. Again, we'll keep, actually, you know what? I'll show you the box so you guys can kind of get a good comparison as well. So there's the box of what they had in mind. It's the, it looks like the Gallardo LP560-4. And we'll throw the box aside now and check out the actual car. Check out the tampo on the side of it. Great looking and it's got blacked out wheels with a colored lip on it. And check out the, what is that, S10 or Police, something like that. Um, again, if you guys are viewers from the UK, let me know if this is a police car from where you guys are or if it's from somewhere else. If you guys know anywhere else in the world, if you guys know where this police car was meant to be after, I'd love to hear from you, but love this car. Oh wow, this one is just beautiful. Gorgeous looking, gorgeous looking. All right, so we'll throw the Lambo aside. Next up, we got another cool one. This is the Ford GT40. Not the Ford GT, the GT40, the original GT40. And I'll actually show you the box up close right there. So there you can see it and like, Look at that. Oh, this one is just amazing. All right, let's open this one up. Get a nice look at this one. There we go. We'll take the collector box out, throw the packaging aside. So again, that's what they had in mind for the packaging, but let's check out the actual car itself. Wow, the proportions and details of this one is top notch. And it is a matte finish paint job as well. I didn't really, you notice that when you actually hold it right away, actually. I didn't see that in the packaging, but the number nine car, and uh, I didn't brush up on my Ford GT knowledge as far as what the number nine car is. I don't think it's the Le Mans winning car, but it's the Golf livery on there. There it is, Golf on the front of it. Number nine, great looking wheels and tires. The real riders, of course, as well. You can see that tread on there on those tires. Very, very nice detail to it. Great car. And last but not least, we have got the Land Rover Defender 110 or 110. I don't know the exact way of saying that number, but oh wow, this one is awesome. Look at that, great detail. Look at the detail in the front of it. All right, let's uh, open this one up. Get a nice close up look at this one. I'll throw that one aside. We'll take the box out of it. And there you can see the box of what they had in mind and the actual vehicle itself, Land Rover. Check out all the luggage and detail on the top of it. Again, not so colored, but at least it shows that. Great detail from the front as well. You can see those real rider tires with the actual tread on there, just like all the other ones. Nice looking car. And I like how Matchbox and Hot Wheels are coming out with all of these Defenders and Land Rovers and all the different vehicles from Land Rover. So they got that nice license from them. Nice looking vehicle. All right, that is awesome. All right, let's get a closer look at all six of these together before we head on over to the track. with the Matchbox set and they are all lined up ready to go. We'll do a best of three. So first car to win two races is the winner. And then after that, we'll do a backwards race just for the fun of it. Here we go, race number one. On your mark, get set, go. but it's the Ford GT that blows a tire and can't get to the finish line and the Lamborghini Gallardo police car takes the win and is our winner in race number one. But we're all set for race number two. Let's see if the Lamborghini can finish it off or will we get a different winner? Here we go, on your mark, get set. A 
another great race, but this time it's the Audi R8 that takes the win. So we've got two different winners. Let's see if we get a third different winner or will the Audi or Lamborghini take the win in this race? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. And the Lamborghini Gallardo finishes it off and wins two of the three races. So it is our champion from the Matchbox series. But now let's do a backwards race to find out which one is faster backwards. And after that, we will also race the Lamborghini Gallardo, the winner of the Matchbox series, against a Hot Wheels Rear Riders Lamborghini Gallardo. That will be a fun race to watch as well. Kind of a Matchbox versus Hot Wheels at the end. But let's find out our backwards winner first. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. And the Audi R8 is the backwards car winner of the Matchbox series, but now we've got the Hot Wheels Forza Lamborghini Gallardo with real riders versus our Matchbox with real riders. This will be an interesting race, so let's find out who the winner is. Here we go, on your mark, get set, go. Looks like Hot Wheels is still the true champion between Hot Wheels and Matchbox. And there it is, guys, your Matchbox Globe Traveler six car set. The Lamborghini Gallardo is your champion as far as being the winner of the fastest car. And I really, really enjoyed this set. And it's making me want to buy a lot more Matchbox cars, which you guys I know want me to review. So you'll see more Matchbox cars coming up in the future. Until then, make sure you subscribe and like this video. I thank you for watching this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. What's up, Peak Timers? This is your boy, Phil, from Peak Time Racing. I just wanna thank you all for watching this video. Now, I just wanna make sure you guys are fully aware of the Peak Time Racing brand, which consists of all three of these channels right here. We've got Peak Time Racing, which is the channel you're on right now. We've got Peak Time Vlogs, which is my vlogging channel where you can find more stuff about my daily life, my family, and a lot more behind the scenes things, as well as Peak Time TV, which is my gaming channel. Mix Mixed in with a little bit of a storyline channel with Hot Wheels, some really cool stories and Hot Wheels stuff in there as well. I just want to make sure you guys don't miss out on a video that I post, so be sure to subscribe to all three of those channels. I will be doing a monthly giveaway and all you have to do to enter is post on any one of my videos and any one of my channels that you are subscribed to all three of the Peak Time Racing branded channels. I'll be picking one lucky winner each month at random who will receive a prize package of Peak Time Racing branded things as well as Hot Wheels. Thanks again for watching this one. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.